Alright, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing Day of the Dead Sugar Skulls. So let's get going. Alright, normally for the third degree curriculum, you guys learn about the skeleton and the certain bones that makes the human anatomy. However, in this project, we're going to be celebrating or um, recognizing a certain holiday, which is Day of the Dead. So over here, I have a sugar skull. And it's a little flattened out because it was in uh, storage for so long. But basically it's supposed to be three-dimensional. But it doesn't say that I can't fix it. But instead of fixing it, I'm just going to do it over again. So over here, what you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. So let's get going. So over here, we have the skull. And the first thing we need to do is draw the skull on a blank sheet of paper. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, just like so. I'm going to open it up. And then with a crayon... The crayon's the best use, so I'm gonna just pick a random color. Maybe I'll pick uh, this um, blue violet over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a half a skull to the best of my ability. So here is the head. So here's half a circle, right? But I'm gonna stop right there. And then I'm gonna kinda curve out like this. And then for the bottom jaw, I'm gonna go from here. And go down and around, just like so. All right, now what I'm gonna do next is make the eye right here. Just like so. I couldn't make it a little bit more round, so it's up to you to decide how you want your eye, eye to be. Um, but um, since it didn't crayon, I can't really erase. But, um, and then I'm gonna do the nose, so I'm gonna do kind of like an upside down half heart right there. And last but not least, the teeth. So I'm gonna go from here, like that, and then I'm gonna kind of do tiny oval. So one, two, three, do I have enough room? Four. All right, let's see how that does. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold the paper in half. I'm going to rub it as best as I can with like a closed marker cap. So if you guys remember this this technique, it's from second grade. You guys remember when we did the uh, symmetry bugs? So that's where this technique comes from. I'm holding my paper as steady as possible so it doesn't rip. Okay, so sometimes it does rip. And for good luck, I am gonna flip the paper over just so it can has, have a better chance on transferring to the other side. All right, and this is the best technique I can think of to make sure that something that you draw is symmetrical on both sides. And basically, the reason why we're making symmetrical is so the picture has balance. And that's one of the uh, principles of design. All right, here we go. I'm gonna open it up, and boom, it worked. So over here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish off the sugar skull by retracing my steps. You know, I don't need to retrace that because I'm gonna be cutting it later. But what I can do is retrace at least the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. There we go, here's the teeth. Retrace back, draw a line. And you know what? For this purpose of the video, I will retrace the outside of the head. There we go. All right, we're almost done. Um, so if you want to add patterns and you want to do the reflecting technique, um, you can. Um, it might be actually a little bit easier. So if you want to do that right now, I highly suggest you do so. So let's pick some cool colors for our Day of the Dead skull. Um, some information about Day of the Dead, if I've never told you guys, it's the day that you celebrate the memory of people who have passed. It's mainly a Mexican holiday, uh, as seen as in many cultures, and it's supposed to be a celebration. It's not supposed to be scary or anything like that, like Halloween is. That's why some people don't celebrate Halloween that celebrate Day of the Dead. Uh, it's a little bit uh, of a disrespect, but I don't think I see it that way. Uh, I don't think I see it that way. But anyways, um, I'm getting off subject. Uh, the subject of the matter is, is that uh, Day of the Dead is something that everyone should learn about regardless of what you celebrate because it's important that you are culturally responsive. So let's keep going. Why don't I add some patterned lines right here? Maybe some circles. Maybe I'll take some green and add some vines here. Just like how I did in the old, old one. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe some vines over here as well. There we are. And then I shall add maybe half half um, flowers in random spots. Maybe I'll do one right here. And 
and then maybe I'll do another one on... I don't have enough space. <laughs> maybe I'll just keep adding some more designs. Maybe I'll add a diamond in the middle. Diamond is a rhombus. Zigzag, and then uh, make a triangle on the bottom. And connect those two points. Ta-da! All right, I think that's enough design. I think I might add more, I don't know. That should not go there. All right, so why don't we add some patterning over here, maybe? I'm not done yet, Mr. Mill's not done yet. I think I can add more stuff. Yeah, I can keep going forever. I love this project. All right, why don't I add some details in the mouth, maybe? I can keep going. <laughs> There's so much stuff you can do with this project. All right, so I'm gonna fold it in half and do the exact te uh, same technique as before, the rubbing technique, just like so. To make sure it transfers really well, I will be flipping over this paper momentarily, just so I know for a fact it is transferring over. I'm just trying to make sure I get it really good on this side. All right, I'm gonna flip it over and do it again. Starting from the top of the head, and with this blank sheet of printer paper, I can really see where I'm going. Uh, the only problem about rubbing it is it's very hard not to rip the paper, <laughs> but at the same time, pressing hard. So this is a very hard technique to learn. It took me a long time to practice this without ripping the paper. I'm sure I'll probably rip the paper now that I said it. But it's okay. We're all here and we're all not perfect. All right, there we go. Let's see what happens when I open it. Ta-da! Oh, wow, that looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna go back over. I'm gonna try to remember the colors I used. All right, so over here is, how many? I, uh, I don't think I rubbed it uh, hard enough on the side. That's okay, I can guess where everything is. All right, there we are. Uh, looks like there's some dots over here. Sweet. Circles. Right there. It looks like I outlined the jaw a little bit with... I think I used red violet. Here we are. And then I'm going to outline the vines a little bit so they're more defined and easier to see. It doesn't have to be exact. There we are. Looks a lot better. I definitely got to fix that diamond though. On the other eye. Rhombus, zigzag, triangle, and then connect the dots. And it looks like this top portion has a flower, which is great. And then a little bit of this blue green to finish off the top end. All right. If you want to color your sugar skull more, you can. Nothing's saying that you can't. I gotta fix the nose a little bit. All right. And there we go. There's my sugar skull. Uh, if you wanna leave it the way it is, you can. But if you guys are here to make it look three dimensional, I'll show you guys how. So, step number one, you're going to cut it out. So, the best way I would do this is probably, since it's symmetrical and save time, just fold it outwards as best as you can on the crease. If you wanna fold it inwards, you can. It's just harder to see the line. I'm gonna cut it just like so. Making sure it's folded properly, because if not, then it will cut off some important parts. This is scraps. Let me open it up, see if I cut it correctly. And I did. Now, in order to make it three-dimensional, very easy, all you're gonna do is cut a triangle on top. So you might have to reduce some of your picture over here. Here's my triangle. I removed it. Now, I'm gonna take a glue stick, I'm gonna glue on top of my pattern a little bit. And then all I'm gonna do is put one on top of the other like this. And press. Now that I press, the top does look a little bit different than before, but now it's three dimensional. So that's how you do it. So anyways, uh, that's the Day of the Dead Sugar Skull uh, project. If you guys like it, then great. I'm so happy for you guys. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.